first on five, Dauphin Island taking steps to keep its visitors safe. The town has installed a new flag warning system along the beaches. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleissman is live on the island with the details. Nicolette. Yeah, the red flags are flying above the beaches here on Dauphin Island, a new site for visitors and locals so they know when they should stay out of the water. A new warning system for visitors to the Gulf. Pretty low tech, simple thing, but uh, it gets the word out. Dauphin Island installed a flag warning system about a month ago to get information about rip currents out to the visitors of its beaches. The flag system is used up and down the coast, so we went with that so it would be universal through the whole Alabama coast. The flags were flying April 13th when a teenage girl and two other people were pulled from rough surf. The girl later died in the hospital. Dauphin Island averages about three drownings a year, and they want to bring that number down. It seems like when we have an incident that's going to be out on the beach, it involves rip currents and water safety. Uh, the flags are just another way that we can get the message out about rip currents, rip current safety, and uh, let everybody have fun but stay safe. There are four flags along the island on the East End Beach, one at the Central Public Beach, one on Bienville Boulevard, and one on the West End Beach. I honestly do think it's important because, you know, you have so many people out of town that do come to Dolphin Island and you don't want to come out and then be going home with one less family member. Town officials say they wanted to get the flags installed before the summer rush began. It's there. Like I said, it's low tech. It's right there when you pull up in the parking lot of the beaches. So hopefully it'll at least if it keeps one person safe, we're we're good. Now the flags will be changed every morning at 7 o'clock, but they also have the rip current forecast on the town's app, the public safety Facebook page, as well as they have numerous rip current warning signs around the island and public safety will also be increasing patrols during peak times. Live on Dauphin Island, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. Thanks, Nicolette.